Today, I'm in South London and I want to show you what a quintessential family home looks like. Let's jump inside. So, here we are in the entrance hall of this place. As you come straight through this door, you enter into the sitting room, which I think is really tranquil. The thing that obviously strikes you is this B&B Italia orange sofa here, the wraps around this side. They've got some sort of Victorian armchairs here, open fireplace over here, which we've seen in a lot of these houses, they actually retain the fireplace. And then on this side of the room, they've got a miniature grand piano, which is cool. I'm just gonna uh, play you a little tune. That's how you do it. So, as we move over this side of the room, you go through these big doors, which actually open and close like this. That was good. So the doors open up and you enter into the main living space. Again, I love some of the design features in here. You've got this 3D shell piece of art over here. They've got these really cool hands over here that have been, been made and they've sort of continued the theme on all of these. So coming out of the living room, you enter straight into the dining room and kitchen. What I love about the way that this house flows is that it is one big open plan space, but it does have the capacity to, to go into sections. So we saw the big double doors over there. There's a gate that goes across here. And then as you'll see in a minute, there's also doors that you can shut off here. But in here, obviously, as you can see from this beautiful shot, they have this reclaimed piece of wood with these hanging exposed bulbs, which I think is just beautiful just brings the room to life and is really the focal point of, of the space. They've then got this huge dining table, but the other thing that I wanna draw your attention to, if you come over here, is this really cool statue, which was actually made by a blind person. So over this side of the room, you've got the kitchen. First thing I wanna highlight is my two monk friends that are chilling on the worktop. The owner has told us that they brought them over from Thailand when they were traveling and they've stuck with her ever since, which I think is awesome. If you just have a look at the worktop that they're sitting on, it's actually really unique. It's polished concrete, but the unique thing about it is the shape of it. So as you can see over here, it goes down and then cuts inside here which, I don't know, for some reason being here feels like it transforms the space, it gives it a bit of an edge. And above the island, which we've seen in all of the houses that we've been to, it's a clear design feature, is the huge skylight above. It makes it feel like a conservatory, even though it's not, but it just brings in so much light, which is what everybody needs. So the only thing I'd probably highlight over here is the teal colored backsplash, and there's sort of a teal theme running throughout. So you've got splashes of grays and concrete and whites, and then mixed with the teal colors, which transform the space. So the other thing I wanna highlight are these metallic cupboards that they've got here and on the other side of the room. The thing that's really cool about them is that they're all different colors. So again, it just brings the space to life, but yeah, I've never really seen metallic cupboards before, which uh, I think are a really cool design feature. Right, let's go and see outside. So as you open these big doors, you enter into the outside area. The reason I wanna show this to you guys is because this is probably a quintessential family home in London. So you've got sitting area here, there's another sitting area over there. A hot tub, which every good British home has. And then as you move through into the back of the area, you've got an AstroTurf bit of lawn even though it's not a real lawn but everyone is opting for astroturf now really because it's a lot easier to maintain and then in the back here they've got a office space and then a really cute veranda which you can sit under which is yeah lovely in the garden so this is the first bedroom which is actually really cool because it's Japanese themed. Look at that, I love it. The sort of windowed Japanese wardrobes. 
you've got cherry blossom on the canvas. The cherry blossom then runs through to the blinds and then a piece of art here which is Japanese and then moving through into here you've got this big ensuite bathroom with this unique sink that has these winged edges, big shower, just think the space is really cool. Right, if you just give me a sec, just going to... Oh, uh, yeah, can I get some sushi, please? So, let's go check out the master bedroom. So, as we enter into the master bedroom, you can see the ceilings are super high, but they've opted for a really low bed, which, just almost, which almost extends that height, which is really cool. They've got a walk-in wardrobe over here, which is a luxury that everybody wants to have. These guys have got it. And then, on this side of the room, you've got a dressing table. And as you move through here, you go into, again, another really big ensuite that have a his and hers sinks and a really cool bath, which is on the edge of there. Um, you know what, for you guys, because I know how much you love seeing me get into a bath, I'm gonna do it. Back in the bathtubs. Oh, <sighs> wow, big. So moving into the third floor, you've got bedrooms three, four and five, and then you've got a family bathroom on the left. So that's it for this quintessential family home in South London. If you like my content, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.